Charles. Okay. It's official. We're going to get the big, big surprise. Yes. 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 We're back on the back on the old school. HDR AS50 we are because the FDR X3000 is freaking uploading movies to the to the CompuWeb yeah to the CompuWeb no, to a hard drive but you know the CompuWeb the Inter the Interflex one of those things one of those things and we are off to the recycling joint to get rid of these cans because I need some barrels I got some barrels covering holes right now kind of back where a fire is and we want to kind of keep that of a safe zone so I don't break an ankle and shit but all my other barrels are filled up with uh, cans and so I can't have any you know, any barrels for trash and all the like all checking, my, checking my sanitation supply here I'm good there checking my glove my glove supply I'm good there ah. I've gotten so used to uh, I got so used to this camera not doing well I got so used to my new camera I have the lights on. This one I didn't have the lights on everywhere. When I recorded the recording indication lamps, uh, only had like the only had like the rear one on usually. So if I was recording in public, people couldn't tell. I don't really do that much anymore. And uh, or I don't give a fuck one of the two. And so on my new camera, I have all the lights on on all the time, so I know I'm not confused if it's recording. And so this one, I was like, you don't care, you don't care, you don't care. I was like, oh, I've been doing this whole sequence, but no, no, I did record it, just the light wasn't on. Oh, and apparently I'm, apparently I'm missing an opener, but luckily I got one on my keychain. My opener must, I guess, be in my house, I fucking hope. Alright, let's go do the damn thing. Oh, and today we got the big surprise coming, too. The big surprise came in. So I get to, oh, I guess at and T's not done. I guess they're not done. He was out here working. I thought I was going to tell him to move so that I could get out my driveway. But I guess he's not done on account of the how you doing zone sitting around there. Can you even sant it? Probably can't even. Probably can't even sant it. The whole end coming off the box. No, you're good, bud. You're fucking good. I don't know if we got the big wave or not. I waved to the new neighbors. I don't know if they saw me. Yeah, that net. It's a great fucking investment. I hadn't had. I hadn't lost something out of a barrel or off of a load since I invested in that net. And I actually got another little small mini net that came with, uh, I think it's a mini net, it's not this size anyway. Uh, that came with my, my new bungee cord assortment pack purchase. I say that 12 times fast. My new bungee cord assortment pack purchase, for fuck's sakes! How you doing? But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's my non interesting tidbit. It's a tidbit! Oh, fuck, I, speak of the devil, I just lost one can. I'm not going back for one can, but I might, need to, I might need to look into it real quick. I'm about to say I can't believe I didn't bring my cane, but I got a spare cane back there if need be. Alright, so one can, that's not too bad. There were a few that had just been thrown on top that I hadn't actually stuck up under the little lids. But it's still, what I did last time is I actually had wood. I had pieces of wood over the tops of the cans and then secured down by the neck and that was not the worst idea and it would probably be beneficial to do again. Yeah. So after the dump we get to go off and get the big big surprise for the big big surprise project. Oh my god! What sort of big big surprise project do we have Mutton Chop? Well you can't know until we get the big big surprise for the big big surprise project. So you're just going to have to freaking hold up and wait a minute. Let me put some bass in it. <laughs> I definitely should have found some wood. I've lost at least three or four cans. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, I'm having to keep it under. I'm having to keep it at about 50 now. Because every time I approach 60, I start losing cans out the back. I literally saw one jump out of one can, up over the net, and right back into another can. But I've seen at least three pop out and hit the ground behind me, so... We're going we're gonna to slow it down. I don't want to get there with empty barrels, for fuck's sakes. Oh, buddy. Are y'all broke down terrible? That's not good. Or are you just taking a piss? I think you might just be taking a piss relentless. Old dude can't hold it anymore. 
this time. What's this dude gonna wait on, like, for fucking ever? For his entire life? Take a tumble. Okay, I got my big thirty-six dollars because remember, none of these cans. Well, like maybe one can of these cans were actually like crushed cans. But honestly, I don't even think it was one can. I think that's mostly the other can I'm working on now. So next time, it ought to be about ninety bucks or a hundred. But uh, got all my money wrapped up in this here Clorox cloth. In case y'all wonder what that was, to keep all the dangers away. And, uh, and now we're off to drop this stuff off and then uh, go get the big, big surprise. Oh my dear, a place for everything and everything in its place. I don't like that kind. It's got to give me a little, a little replica of that built out here. A little replica of my, of my little, my little carport type dealy. Except this time I'll do it better. And I'll actually support it properly so I don't get any of this fucking curvy sag shit. Might be a playhouse, comma, not a greenhouse. Okay. It's official. We're going to get the big, big surprise. Going to get it. Going to get it. How, 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 how big can it be if you're going to get it? Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude, what are you doing? Jiminy fucking Christmas. You're going pretty good until we pass the mower and then you decide to put it in fucking slover drive. Fucking dropped it right down into slover drive you did. For fuck's sakes! The fuck out of the way, boys! We got places to be! Anyway, so yeah, stuck behind fucking Dick Squat McGillicuddy apparently, so... Man, no choice but to... But to slow and go. Holy fucking Christ, you're gonna fucking kill me, dude. Doing the speed limit shit. Fuck a man. Oh my... Flying shenaniganoids for all the for all the anger in my heart that I want to distribute upon your face. I apologize. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. By all means, let's just fucking take 16 hours fucking turn here. Oh, ain't no traffic, so we can be going anytime now. See, still no traffic, and still no traffic, and we're still not fucking gone yet. What are we doing, bud? What are we actually fucking waiting on? Crimmer Crees and fucking candlelight? Holy dick squat, bud. Anger. Anger. Anger! Just got nothing better to do than just bullshit and lollygag. But anyway, I think he's at work, but yeah, for fuck's sakes, bud, like, let's hit that fucking right gas pedal, because some of us got places we want to fucking be, and not just fucking, like, drive time ain't our fucking, you know what I mean, like, it's, it's like when I was in high school and I didn't have nothing else to do, yeah, I'd like to go on drives, fucking drive around, goddammit, listen to music, you know, experience my inner self, but right now, when I, you know, my adult life, like, when I'm driving, I'm fucking going, I got somewhere to go, I'm doing shit, it's my time. And time is money, so the fuck, bud. We're going to get the big, big surprise. And what do you mean get it? How are you going to get it? If, how can it be such a big, big surprise if you're going to get it, shot? Well, you know, it's still a big, big surprise. So, uh, we'll tell you all about it. Oh, avoiding, avoiding obstacles in the road we are. And, uh, got a little bit of a swagger wagger back here on my trailer because I ain't got no weight on it. And now dude wants to, like, act like he drives the speed limit and shit. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm a speed limit driver. No, you're not, fuckface. No, you're fucking not. Your douchebag McGillicuddy, who just all of a sudden decided you wanted to be fucking, you know, fucking, I did the speed limit guy. 
but you haven't been out to the speed limit guy. You've been the I've been the douchebag guy. So go fuck yourself, and I don't apologize. Like just like now he's backing off and shit. Like now he he's like, okay, you're right. I can't do I can't do 60. You're right. It's really hard to do 60 miles an hour. I better back it on down to fucking slower, slower drive. For fuck's sakes, just fucking do a 43 and a 55 for fuck's sakes. Yep, that's the fucking one, bud. That's why you were doing 30 and a 45, you fucking goof. Get the fuck out of Dodge. I mean, I think he's going a little bit faster. But see, yeah, I should bitch more. Bitch and whine and moan. That ought to be the channel. Bitch, whine, moan each other. How you doing? Anyway, we got the wind and uh, whistling. Whistling and whipping through the whipper wheels. We do the wind whistling and whipping through the window wheels. And we're just freaking on our way to go get the big, big surprise. Piece of shit. Told a piece of shit. Seen, I had never seen motorcycles on the go-kart track. There was only one, and we missed it. But step, that was cool. We ought to be able to Yes, sir. Well, it's. They're actually. Uh, it's actually three of them. The uh, fans are individual. They're not on the right fans. They're just out. The platform. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, but there's just three individual platforms. Yeah. We already feel the front of my head. Okay, sweet. Let them all amp in my capacitor. That's what I wanted to do. Good job. When they're giving you a box and they, where you want it in the back, they totally, you should totally put it on top of the amplifier and the capacitor. That's absolutely where the heavy boxes full of steel go. Pat. <laughs> Maybe everybody yells Pat. Maybe everybody yells Pat. Okay. I think I can get rid of all this all this uh, illusion of safety now. All this illusion of safety for fuck's sakes. I think I'm probably far enough away. Alright, let's get on this our new uh, our new big big surprise batten down. Y'all probably, I don't even know if y'all know what the big, big surprise is or if y'all can even see it. I mean, I can't be completely OCD about this shit, right? I mean, even when we're in the midst of it. So should I do the big, big reveal? I mean, it's not a reveal at this point, it'd just be a tell. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do this now because this sound quality is going to be dick. Maybe that'll stop it. Alright, so we got the money for the roof. And we're going to put the roof on. And then we get those birds in the room. I don't know how much of I have or have not said of this. So you're getting a recap of I haven't. So then we get the birds in the room, and I think it's a fluke, right? And I'm like, oh no, they're totally coming into the fucking soffit, which allows them to enter out right in the fucking house. And I'm like, well, that's got to be replaced, definitely. Is the roofing company doing that? So I, I text the old boy, and I'm like, what's up? Are y'all doing that? And he's like, no, that's not something we do. He said, well, he said, that's not something that's included in the estimate. I'm like, okay, well, does that mean you don't do it? You know, and if you know and if you if, if so do you have a recommendation and if it doesn't mean that and you do do it can you do it and he basically responded and, you know and also and you know indicating that it looks like the drip edge is connected to the fascia and that you know so do I need all of that you know and he's like 
he's like, yeah, you need a drip edge. You definitely need a drip edge, so you don't run out your stuff. And he's like, and if you're gonna, if you're gonna, and, and if you're gonna get a drip edge, then you need to, do, then you gotta attach it to the fascia. So it's better to, you obviously need to do that. I mean, it's not imperative, but it's better if you do that before put it on the roof, um, or while you're doing the roof. As one, he's like, so we can do it, but you can probably find somebody to do it cheaper. So I went and talked to my neighbor about the dude doing his shit, and uh, that dude never called me back. I sent him a text, guy's number and shit, sent him a text, he never called me back. But then I'm researching how much it costs, you know, I just Google search, you know, how much does it cost to replace soffit and fascia? And they give me the, like, the full installed price, like how much it would cost if, like, if somebody did it. And, uh, it's gonna be insane amounts of money. Like, I mean, insane amounts of money, like, it was gonna rival the cost of the actual fucking roof. Um... And, uh, fucking dipshit, dude. So, yeah, it was gonna rival the cost of the roof, like, legitimately. It was gonna be, like, minimum, like, three grand. Like, and that's if I found a deal. But, I mean, it could have easily been more. I mean, I guess I could have maybe, if I had a lot, found somebody to do it for shit for, like, 2000 2500 But it's like, at that point, you know, fuck. That's a lot of money, dude. For some fucking wood that goes around the border. And the underside of the fucking around the house. I'm like, how? And so I started looking at it. I'm like, this ain't that fucking hard to do. Like, like it's just like as much shit as I fucking put together. Surely I can take off some fucking old rotten wood and put some wood in its fucking place. And the dude, the roofing dude, he's like, I recommended, I recommend metal covered fascia and vinyl soffit. I'm like, well, I fuck it. I don't know how to work all that. That's probably more expensive. And that's probably what the fucking costs. <coughs> reflective of, but nonetheless, I'm just like, you know what? On the off chance that this may not be a fucking, that I may not be crazy, like I wonder what, I wonder what scaffolding costs. Like surely it's insanely expensive, expensive. Surely it's insanely expensive to buy scaffolding. Like ridiculous, right? It's gonna be like thousands and thousands of dollars. No, 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 no. You can get a full scaffolding five foot by seven foot, five foot deep by five foot tall by seven foot long scaffolding section for like 147 bucks, 143 bucks, something like that. Um, and they're stackable. They're all stackable. And the workload is like just under 10,000 pounds, like per rig. It's like, what the fuck? Like, cause I saw cheap ones that were like, you'd be like, oh, working, working, like working load limit is like, you know, 500 pounds and shit. I'm like, well, that's fucking like, fuck, you get some tools and a couple dudes up there and you're definitely past that limit. Um, like, I need some overkill. So I'm like, 10,000, fuck yeah, how much you, 140, get the fuck out of Dodge. Well, how do you level them on uneven ground and shit? So I'm watching videos and shit. Oh, they got leveling feet. Of course they do. They go up two feet. I'm like, oh, well, how much are those? Well, like, they're fucking not expensive at all. Those are like fucking less than 100 bucks for four of them. And, uh, Oh, well, what do you put across the top? Because, I mean, that's just, what do you cut some plywood? That doesn't seem safe. I guess you got to build some rails and shit. Oh, well, looky, looky. You can get aluminum framed plywood planks. Like they said, they got the plywood in the aluminum frames. Presumably you can put new plywood in later if those go bad. Those are like 147 bucks a pop. And, you know, you would need three of those to, to cover the expanse of one fucking... But then they got three aluminum ones for like $3.99 or less than that. It, it was less than $400 anyway for three aluminum ones. They're going to last the rest of my life and I'll ever have to worry about replacing plywood. And when they're up there, I can throw a piece of plywood over the top of them anyway to reinforce it and to not fuck those up. Not dent them and shit if I drop shit or whatever. So for less than a thousand bucks, for $908 out the door after tax, I got 15 foot worth a five foot deep, seven foot long scaffolding. Um, or three individual five, you know, about five by seven sections, whatever. And uh, I checked, engineer, like you can stack up to 15 feet before you need outrigging, right? If you go, if I buy another scaffolding ever, which I shouldn't need because I measured the house, but if I had to, then I gotta buy the little outriggers, you know, that are for it, the little, little outrigger feet that attach to the bottom ones, you know. And then if you go more than five, if you stack more than five, which would be five, what, 25 feet high. If you go higher than 25 feet, oh no, you're good, but pull out and go 12. That's what the speed limit is, totally 12. 
Um, if you go more than five, then you got to have an engineer's approval. Well, I'm never going to go more than five. That's fucking way taller than the house. So this is going to come in so useful for the rest of my life for everything I need to get. And my son's stoked about it too. He's like, oh, that scaffolding sounds really useful. I'm like, fuck yeah, it does. Fuck yeah, it sounds useful. For under a thousand bucks for 15 feet high and 10,000 pound working load limit. I mean, fuck, dude. You can't beat that with a stick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I oh presume goodness. they get that big working load limit because presumably when you have two units stacked on top of a first unit, the weight of those other two units calculates into that. So that's a thousand pounds right there or whatever. You know what I mean? So you need to have an extra overkill. So if I got 2,000 pounds stacked on top, that only gives me 8,000 pounds left, which is still super overkill because I only weigh like, you know, 220 with combat boots on and soaking wet. I ain't thawing it. Okay, 37. It's hot as fuck. Let's see if we can't see the muscle cars. Probably can't see nothing because my camera's too low. Oh, it's a truck there. Well, that's not a muscle car. So it is just three Trans Ams. Or three firebirds. Yeah. It looks like the, the cross piece is just bracing the bees, and so they don't need a pin. It looks like, looks like I guess maybe. Um, not 100% sure how that works, but we'll figure it out, we will, but yeah, we'll be getting to work on this very soon. It's not supposed to rain any time for like the next two weeks, so we'll see if we can't knock out this whole back side. But you see the hole up there, that is the soffit, so this outside piece that you see from the road and stuff, oh, that's another on the road. Oh, there is a bird in there, motherfucker. That's a fucking... Fascia. So yeah, bird in there, that's got to come out. And we got to rip all that down. So yeah, we'll get started on that probably tomorrow. And everything else gets postponed. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be way safer than ladders. And when I build my, my big ass fucking, my big ass three story freaking stargazing platform, it's going to come in super useful. Yeah. Okay, well obviously it's it's too windy to film anything today for audio quality, so I'm all set up to go. Okay, so let's put the big, big surprise up. Oh, it's, even though it's not a big, big surprise anymore. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Without plywood, that, uh, that aluminum feels flexy as fuck. And they did not provide me any pins with which to lock. Well, obviously, like always, I went overboard. And definitely got one more than needed because there's no way that that's not going to be tall enough, like, you know, by itself. But cool, now I got an extra one so we don't have to fucking, you know what I mean? We only got to break down the top one and move it over. And we just move the bottom one around. That is crazy legit. I'm just gonna order some feet, another set of feet, so we can utilize two of them at once. And uh, another set of the cheaper planks. I'll do the plywood one probably. 